what's up it's me but you probably know that because you clicked on this video all right let's just get into it i've been wanting to do a video where i tell stories about my life but i don't really have many interesting stories because uh if you know me you know that i'm a pretty boring person i don't like to venture out into the world very often and when i do it's usually to just go to the grocery store so i can like get some ice cream or a frozen dinner so the few times that I have actually, you know, gone out, been social, 99% of the time, something awkward happens. For some reason, every time I talk to someone or just pretty much do anything in general, something awkward happens or I'm in some type of awkward situation and that is what's, like, I am terrified of awkward situations, so um, that's why I don't. <laughs> leave my house. Anyways, today I'm going to be telling you some awkward stories that have happened to me. This first one, I'm, I don't even have a plan. I don't have any stories written down. I'm just going to tell them as they pop into my head. I also have horrible memory and I'm the worst storyteller ever. So <laughs> this video is going to be awful. Just telling you now. All right. First story is probably my favorite because it's something that I'm kind of proud of. So I just graduated high school and in my four years of high school, I literally went to three parties. The first one was freshman year and I went with my best friend, Emily, and we both don't drink or smoke or do anything really fun <laughs> or dangerous. We went to this party. It was all kids who were in the grade above us. They were all drinking. They were all smoking and we felt uncomfortable and out of place and we left. The second one, um, I had to call my mom to come pick me up because the kid was throwing up and I have a phobia of throw up, so that wasn't fun either. So after those two, I I'd kind of lost my hope for parties. I just thought they were awful. They're not like how they are in the movies. And I was just like, hey, never going to another party again. They just suck. So anyways, it was last summer and our friend Ryan was having a party and we knew him. So we were like, okay, we'll probably go and just like see what it's like and I remember I was like feeling myself that night because I had a fake tan on as I do now I also had a brand new shirt on it was this purple little crop top I had my jeans that make my butt look good on so I was just feeling myself and so we go into this party and right away you just walk in and there's like this huge cloud of smoke just so much smoke it smells like weed and I'm just like oh great it's freaking sweaty in here everyone's not sober so this is gonna be fun you know expecting the worst of course because that's me negative nancy so we walk in we find ryan we say hi to him and then we kind of just like start walking around talking to people we go into the basement there's like so many people in the basement and i noticed there's a lot of people that i've like seen on instagram before but never really met but like i know who they are they know who i am so i'm just like hey everybody and so we start talking to people and it's actually kind of fun like we're kind of having a good time. It's better than we thought it was going to be. And even though we're not drinking or anything, we're still having fun and it's like weird. And we're talking to all these people that are older than us and people that we don't really know that well, which is I think is why it was so fun because there were so many people from different schools and different ages and I don't know, it was just fun. So anyways, you know, everyone else at this party is acting crazy. They're all like, it gets to the end of the night and we're on the middle floor and Emily's mom is like, okay, you guys need to come home now. It's one in the morning and when you're under 18, you're supposed to drive home before midnight. That's like the curfew by law. We don't want to leave because we're actually having fun and we're like, mm, can we just please stay a little bit longer? We're, we're actually having fun. We never have fun. We never leave the house. We literally just sit inside and watch movies all the time. The one time we leave the house, we're having fun. So can we please just stay a little bit longer? So she tells us like, okay, 15 more minutes, 15 more minutes pass and we still don't want to leave, but she's like, okay, you guys have to leave now or else you're going to be in trouble and you're going to get your car taken away. <laughs> so Emily's like, okay, we have to go. I just want to check on my friend real quick who's upstairs because he was sick. So I stayed at the bottom of the staircase and as I'm waiting, I'm just like looking around, uh, just like thinking about how the night's been pretty good so far, you know, and this younger boy approaches me and he looks right away he just looks like he's younger than me like probably a freshman or a sophomore and i was going into senior year at the time because it was a year ago and he approaches me and he's just like hey you okay i guess because i was like looking i was just like looking off into his face i was tired it was like one in the morning i was like yeah i'm fine how about you you doing good and he's like yeah yeah i'm good and then he's just like nodding his head and we're not talking and i'm just like and then he goes, 
so what's your name? And I'm just like, uh, Nicole. That's just, that was the first name that popped into my head. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I love Zoe 101. I don't know. It's just my alter ego. So he's like, oh, nice to meet you. And I'm like, yeah, you too. He starts asking me what school I'm going to and all kinds of stuff about me. I'm literally making everything up, telling him, like, I graduated last year and I want to travel the world and kind of like dropping hints that I may or may not be an escort. Uh, you know, just trying to give this kid, like, the the most wrong impression of me ever and so then he goes so do you have snap and i'm just like oh no i don't believe in social media yeah it's not really my thing and he goes oh yeah 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 i totally get that and as i'm like just feeding him all of these lies as this is happening i hear a guy behind me go <laughs> and i turn around and it's this kid from my english class and i go something funny and he goes yeah kennedy and i was like I don't know what he's talking about. He's drunk. I don't even know him. So then Emily comes back down the stairs and she's like, hey, you ready to go? And I'm like, yeah, sorry, bye. I gotta go, nice meeting you. And then I start like cracking up, telling her the story. And we go into the basement so that we can say bye to some of our friends. And we're just like making our way around the basement. We're looking for our other friend cause she's leaving with us. We're like walking around and then I turn around and I see the kid behind me, like waiting for me, staring at me. I was just like, hey, and he goes, can I get your number? And I was like, oh, I was like, okay, I really have to come up with like an actual excuse because I don't want to give this kid my number, but I don't want to be rude and be like, no, sorry. So I turn to Emily and I go, oh, I'm sorry. I she would get really mad at me i just can't like we just had a whole fight about something like this and i just can't do that i'm sorry and he goes oh, oh yeah 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 yeah. you're totally right like i'm sorry it's fine i'm like okay bye nice meeting you again and he's like yeah I will remember you. so never saw that kid again don't know where he is now i hope he has a nice loyal girlfriend who appreciates him because he really was nice just i don't know i'm a compulsive liar all right this next one i really hope the boy that this is about does not watch this video i don't think he ever would but i hope he really doesn't anyways to preface this story it was sophomore year and i had a really big crush on this guy because he was the most attractive person in our school like seriously very attractive he was on the football team anybody who knows me knows who i'm talking about this is embarrassing but he was a player he was like the biggest player ever and so i would never hang out with him and never go out with him because mostly because i don't i don't um have social skills but so we had been talking basically the whole year through snapchat we snapchatted like every day the entire year he had basically been hooking up with lots of different girls which was why i didn't want to hang out with him a lot of the girls i knew so it just kind of grossed me out and i was like nobody sorry can't do that so i kept trying to distance myself from him and be like okay stop snapchatting him stop thinking about him like yeah he's really cute but you don't need that in your life i got to a point where i was just like, okay i'm not gonna talk to him anymore i'm not gonna respond to his snapchat this sounds so stupid <laughs> this is a modern day love story people i was just gonna leave him leave him in my past so that's what i was planning to do and then one day i remember i was in spanish class and that day he wasn't in school because he was he had like or he was I don't know something with football he was training at some gym an hour away I didn't even know where it was and my mom who is a makeup artist was doing makeup that day for a commercial I didn't know where she was doing makeup either and my mom had knew about him like to an ex to a very full extent I told her everything about him I complained about him all the time he also knew about her because every boy knew my mom since she is a milf anyways I remember I was sitting in Spanish class which is like my last period and my sister texts me and goes OMG did you did mom tell you about what happened and I'm like no and then my mom texts me and goes, oh my god, I was walking into the building that I'm doing makeup at and I'm gonna call him Mike. She goes, Mike and his friends held the door open for me. And then he stops me and goes, aren't you Kennedy's mom? And she goes, yeah, Mike? And he's like, yeah. And they have like a little exchange, you know, and I'm like, oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Like, <laughs> So anyways, like an hour passes and I'm like, huh, you should have taken a picture with him, jokingly. And then she goes, ha 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 ha, didn't want to be weird. 
An hour later, she sends me a selfie of him and her. My crush and my mom literally took a picture together. Anyways, um, I don't talk to him anymore. Oh, there's some awkward stories about my life. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you cringed at least twice. I know I did. And make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment, and also let me know if you want me to do more me telling stories videos. I don't have that many stories, but I'm sure I could think of a few. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. You have been the one for me. Alright, that's enough. <laughs>